Hey, journal goddesses, it's Dion, your elemental wisdom mentor for you, me, and a cup of tea. Ah, let's do that check in. How you doing over there, body? Hmm. Taking a couple of nice deep breaths. Hmm. Just allowing yourself to be here. And if there is anything swirling and twirling inside of you, body, mind, or spirit, give yourself permission to pack it up and set it outside of our space to be looked at later or not. <laughs> so as I said, I do have my cup of tea today. I have been loving that ginger, that green ginger tea so much, I've gone on a ginger tea hunt. So what I did was went down to the uh, Korean grocery store, not far from me, which is fantastic. And um, they had this honey ginger tea that I am drinking right now. I love ginger, especially when my tummy is a little bit upset and, um, it just knocks the the whatever out so so quickly obviously I'm not a medical professional but I think you should give some ginger tea a try when the next time you feel like your stomach is a little queasy or upset so let me take a little sip of this mm. it's very very spicy because the gin they use actual ginger pieces and sometimes I get like a mouth of ginger <laughs> and chew on that ginger a little bit. Whoo! Not for anybody that's not bold enough for it, but you journal goddesses are bold, aren't you? Hmm. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you, and I actually wanted to give you a few good reasons to write love letters to your dreams. Now, this whole concept of writing a love letter to your dream was actually something that I did with Andrea Schroeder over at the Creative Dream Incubator, whom you know I love and adore dearly. And she had a program called, I think it was like 30 Days of Love Letters, and it's within her Creative Dream Circle, which is a fantastic um, little qu quiet community of creative beauties that are working on making their dreams come true. So doing 30 Days of Love Letters, I loved that program because it was very, very powerful for me. So I thought I would give you five good reasons to write love letters to your dreams. So first of all, writing a love letter to your dream can help you get clear on your why. Sometimes we don't know why we're so fascinated or why an idea takes hold of us, but if you spend time writing to this idea, this dream, this goal, and getting clear on why it's important for you from the inside out, that helps to stabilize your purpose and help you understand more deeply what's going on internally and how you can make it happen. The second reason that it's super good idea to write love letters to your dreams is that it helps you to strengthen your inner belief system about your abilities. Now, I again, I've been working with Andrea for quite a few years and each time that I have done these kind of programs, or each time I have tried to do any kind of program on my own, I came up against a lot of blocks around my own belief in my personal abilities to be able to get things done. I was looking for outside validation. I was scared. I mean, just too many reasons, too many reasons. And you can go back and take a look at some of my older videos to understand where I was coming from at that time. But what I have found is that as I have written even a few love letters telling, talking about my feelings with my dreams and goals that my resolve to bring it out into the world, no matter what it looks like, has increased. And because of my resolve increasing, my belief in my abilities have increased. Another reason why 
love letters are a great idea is it makes space for your in your life for your goals to become as it's becoming real now a lot of times we hold these ideas in our head and we are the only one that can see them you know they're like little babies you know when we are gestating them in our womb space you know so Nobody knows, nobody can see the baby as it's growing, but you know it's there, right? So by making space in your journal or on an altar or wherever to be able to connect with your dream, that gives it tangibility. That makes it so that you feel like you have, it, like it has space, weight, presence in your life. So that's another great reason to write love letters. Now, this feeds into my next reason that it's great for love letters. It feels like you're doing something. Sometimes when on, on the road to manifesting your goal, it doesn't seem like anything is happening. You know, you're having to wait for something to this piece to come into play before you can do this piece or for, before you can get your next steps. And at least when you're writing in your journal about your dream, you're writing a love letter to your dream, it feels like you're actually doing something. And you're sub uh, I know for myself, I was ex sub extremely surprised at some of the things that had come up when I was journaling, especially with the YouTube channel. Um, it's now, there's things that have now manifested with the YouTube channel that I didn't know that I really wanted to do like the daily or I mean the weekly oracle readings. Ooh, and I said daily and I wonder if that's another thing that I need to journal with. Hmm. So, and that's another reason you make surprising discoveries. Honestly, when you get into your journal about anything, when you connect with your journal about anything, you will be super surprised at the magic that comes out because of you making the space to take that time in order to be able to connect. So it helps you, writing love letters to your dreams helps you to get clear on why you're doing it or why that dream is wanting to come through you. It helps you to strengthen your inner belief system about your abilities to get it done. It makes space in your life for your goal to be, to, it makes space in your life for your goal as it's becoming real. It feels like you're doing something and you can make surprising discoveries along the way as you're journaling with your goals. I hope you have enjoyed this information. If you would like to join my community of goal seekers and beautiful women, and if you would like more journaling tips and tricks, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are having an awesome day and I hope that you are connecting with your dreams and goals so that you can live beautifully and fantastically this one life of yours. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.